In June 1889, Vincent van Gogh painted the starry night. From the window of his room at the St. Paul de Missoul, Iceland. What stands out in this artwork is the unique and accurate pattern of turbulent fluid formations. Understanding precisely how this phenomenon works would have a great effect on so many aspects of our lives. Here's what we do know. Liquids and gases usually have two types of motion, laminar and turbulent flow. Turbulent flow is a type of fluid flow in which the fluid undergoes irregular fluctuations or mixing. In contrast to laminar flow, in which the fluid moves in smooth paths or layers. In turbulent flow, the speed of the fluid at a point is continuously undergoing changes in both magnitude and direction. Turbulent flows have certain characteristics in common. One, it's always chaotic. Two, consists of multiple interaction fluid swirls known as eddies, which are like vortices of different sizes and shapes. Three, diffusive, meaning it mixes things together. We determine whether a flow will be laminar or turbulent using something known as Reynolds number. The higher the Reynolds number, the more likely turbulence will occur. Although the Reynolds number is useful for comprehending simple scenarios, it's ineffective in many situations. While it's far too easy to say that Van Gogh's turbulent genius enabled him to visualize turbulence, it's also far too difficult to accurately represent the inspirational beauty of the fact that in a period of intense pain and misery, Van Gogh was somehow able to perceive and represent one of the most supremely difficult concepts that has ever been brought before mankind.